right, so today's video, we have K-Joy, smart toilet seat, electric bidet, whichever you want, you prefer to call it. So, I'm going to show you a few images, give you a little bit of detail, and then we'll talk a little bit more about this bidet. Alright, so as stated, we're taking a look at this bidet. This is the instruction manual. So, real quickly, I wanted to show you a little bit of a step-by-step -step installation to some degree. However, it's a very narrow space where the actual toilet is because it has its little its own little section in the bathroom. So it's hard to get two people in there and to get a camera in there and all that. So I'm gonna basically show you a little bits of it. Um, hopefully it's kind of useful to you uh, to give you an idea of what's involved in the installation process. It's actually quite straightforward. However, the fitting that came with our toilet didn't fit on the actual unit, so we had to run to the hardware store. That made things take a little longer to get the proper size fitting. Other than that, everything else worked out fine. However, in the user manual, there is a little chart that says what's included. Now one thing that was included that was not mentioned in here is a water filter and we went ahead and installed the water filter in the way that makes the most sense which is coming from the tank to the bidet so that way any sediment because you know over time there is buildup in the tank you do get rust from the bolts over time and you do get sediment that builds up and that could clog the bidet because it is a sprayer so it's got these very small you know sort of little jet spray and in order to make sure it stays you know functional you want to have that filter in place so that it stays clean um, there's no mention of the filter in here how to install it or anything else or that it even comes with it but it was in the box so we went ahead and installed that in the most logical way and I couldn't find anything on the Amazon listing which I have pulled up right here uh, in front of me which you know you really can't see but just so you know and there is not a whole lot of documentation on some of the functionality although there is some and it is adequate and most of it makes enough sense that it's not a big deal so that all said I like everything about it except that I wish there was more information about the actual uh, filter and how that's supposed to hook up it does have a heated seat you'll hear it beep it does have you know the ability to sense and it appears that if you press on it and try to turn the water on it's not going to just shoot out and make a mess everywhere because you actually have to be sitting on it and put some kind of significant amount of weight on it because I've tried it just to see what would happen uh, making sure that you know that's kind of a fail safe of sorts so I like that the heated seat works good it heats up really fast the heated water heats up quite quickly and even on the lowest setting I found it to be quite warm same goes for the air um, even on the lower uh, settings I think it's you know somewhat warm so I don't think that that's going to be a real problem uh, the auto mode is really the probably the most convenient simplest thing because you push that and it's going to run through its own little sequence where it's going to clean and dry and you know it's going to do everything you need it to do all back to back and then stop when it's finished it takes a little while for that to run so if you decide to go that route you have adjustments for the water temperature for the spray strength there's a battery save function, there's a night light function, uh, you know, everything is really, really pretty well thought out as far as adjustments and abilities and everything. The controls are fairly easy, it's just in that bathroom, it's a little dark in that little like cove area where the bathroom is, and my vision is a little difficult to see, so I already made the video for talking about some of that aspect, so it's not going to be quite as detailed, but you can actually look on the... Uh, Amazon listing and you can see it's got a stop button, a rear cleaning button, front cleaning so that's going to be for the feminine wash, then it's got the automatic mode that's well then it's got the air drying and then the automatic mode as far as the order goes and then you've got the strength adjustment and that's going to be as far as the strength of the water you can do up and down and then you have your 
power saving function, your night light function, and your power button on the inside closest to you as far as the seating goes. On the outside, you have the water and seat temperature, if I'm not mistaken. They actually, yeah, they actually list the power saving twice on the paperwork, but one of the buttons they list for power saving is actually the night light. So the night light you can turn off and on manually. Uh, you can leave it on all the time. It's not very bright. It's sort of a blue purple kind of a light. Uh, this has a self-cleaning function and everything on it seems to work really well. The spray uh, levels and temperature levels from my understanding uh, because I don't really make any adjustments to it. I kind of like where it's at. Uh, you will have a memory unless the power is shut off to it then you have to readjust it so that way the next time you use it it'll remember the last one you used so that's kind of convenient but overall it's not super loud I like the slow closing lid and the seat they both close down very slowly they both have rubber bumpers on them so you're not dealing with the plastic or especially that hard plastic which one makes a lot more noise if it falls down but these are slow close so it won't fall and two they tend to crack and break when it's that hard plastic. This is a nice uh, rubber piece. You can see the gray rubber. So all in all, it's actually pretty good from what I can tell. I've never had one before. Uh, so I thought it was a really cool experience and a really, you know, well, opportunity to take a look at it and experience to use it. So it does has like the massage. So it kind of helps you to go when you need to go and then it has the cleaning and of course then it has the drying function so it's very very interesting you can also move the uh, device in and out is what it states but this manual is also for uh, two different models at least it looks like or several different models so that might explain some of the slight you know differences um, it's 1400 watts total and it's going to use a lot of power right now we have to use sort of a you know little bit heavier duty uh, drop cord of sort or surge, you know, strip, power strip because the cord is I think 4.92 feet, just under 5 feet long and it won't quite reach without being kind of pulled really tight and that's just not ideal so you know you want it to lay down. Uh, the only thing that I can say also is the filter, the way it's designed and the way it's connected, it kind of just leaves it hanging in the air. Um, so what we might do is use some of the longer tubing that was included to drop it down onto the floor or maybe kind of find a way to fasten it to the side of the toilet with some velcro or something I don't know that will hold it so it's just not you know, putting any pressure on the fittings although they feel like they're not going to leak or have any problems uh, overall I don't think I could be much happier with this item with the ex uh, exception of a little bit more you know documentation I mentioned um, that's pretty much it though. If they could do a little better on the documentation, correct their little picture on the listing so it shows you the buttons a little bit better. Uh, I'd say the night light could be a little bit brighter. I don't know. But that part would be actually probably beneficial. Other than that, I like that it has plenty of adjustments. It's comfortable to sit on, I think. So that's not a problem. The slow close function is great. It definitely closes very slowly. Uh, feels you know very solid it looks like it'd be very easy in the terms of maintenance or cleaning whenever necessary if you if you had to clean up under the actual unit for some reason if you know you were you had bad aim or if you just had some leak or some other re uh, reason you could just slide it off clean slide it back into place so it's very simple very easy I mentioned a little bit about that type thing uh, in the video as well so there's a little bit of extra little clips of sort that kind of show you a little bit progressing along and showing you you know what's included so you get an idea again not a lot of information or no information about the filter so that's something we looked at kind of looked at it and decided how we wanted to install it it looks like it could go either way maybe I did it wrong I think we did it all right anyway it appears to be working. I like it. Hopefully this is useful. Here's a video showing a little bit more. You can hear it, see it, that type thing. I can't demo it, the legitimate demo. YouTube would, of course, ban that. Check out the link below. I've rambled enough. Thanks for watching. All right, so this is just a quick overview of what is included. Of course, the bidet seat and everything with the control. 
all of the hardware used for connecting individually packaged in the bag to make it a little bit easier during the assembly process a couple of pieces of hose one short one long the filter obviously the plug with the inline trip GFCI type outlet and all of the instructional information the box that it came in there and then there's a free purchase uh, gift card type protect your purchase card included and of course you can see all the different warnings and such stickers that's included so just a real quick look and if we flip this over you can see little compartments and the lower feet so these are rubber not plastic so that's going to be nice and it's a solid uh, piece so it gives you an idea of what's included and what it looks like before installation all right so real quick we've already opened up as you can see the plastic bag and we've got the mounting plate I'm gonna call this the mounting plate the little mounting uh, rubber washer gasket piece we've got the metal bracket with the washer and the bolt so those are all put into place on the toilet you can see we got one side installed it's loose and then we got the other side we're about to install we're going to tighten that down and this is what the toilet slide uh, toilet seat slides into and engages kind of locks it in place so that gives you an idea of how the installation process goes for that portion there and after we get this locked down we'll show you the next step all right so right now we've already got the three-way valve down here connected and of course this is the line that's going to run up to the reservoir for the tank for the uh, the bidet so we haven't trimmed the line yet of course this is going to come from this tank here and go down to the three-way valve and this is a replacement hose because as the case may be with anybody that's doing this you may find that you have to change to accommodate for the proper size fitting from what you have on your toilet currently so little run to the hardware store might be necessary even though everything is included so that's where we're at right now we're going to go a little bit further to the next step get this connected in and we'll get that going all right obviously it's a little hard to get in here for two people a little hard to see but just to give you an idea there is a 90 degree angle fitting that comes off of the base of the toilet the, the seat and the bidet itself it goes down to another 90 degree angle to the water filter and then another 90 degree angle on the other end of the filter and those are all part of the little pack that you saw with all the hardware initially and then the other piece of course is going to be what feeds the water in but that keeps the uh, sediment and stuff that builds up in the tank from getting into the bidet and there's a very small spray nozzle so you don't want to clog that so you're going to have to use the water filter to uh, keep that cleaned out and so it comes with all the fittings to do all that so you can see kind of what that looks like and of course that just runs over I don't know why you can see it but that runs over to the actual floor to the valve down there and locks into that three-way valve and that's how we get our water in for cleaning your rear all right so just want to show you real quick you can see that the power is on you got the night light of course you got all the other functions we're not going to press anything right now you do have to be sitting on it um, if you do there you go if you do have the, you know come in contact with this and there's a little bit of weight you'll hear that beep and then another beep so that indicates that it uh, you know recognizes the actual touch and this seat is actually quite warm So you can change the different levels of warmth. So I'm not going to go through all the controls. Obviously that is going to be something you would do if you purchased it. But you can also look at the pictures and see what each one of these controls. And um, you know as far as the different uh, washing and drying and everything. The automatic mode. So right now I don't think we're going to leave this like it is with the filter like that. We're probably going to you know wire that up so it's not... Uh, hanging in the air like that and obviously we have currently a temporary setup for the plug due to the fact that you know I don't have any kind of plugs over here in this little uh, area 
and then of course you do have this kind of like a GFCI uh, type outlet where it can trip and you can reset it by pushing the button there so I'm not going to do that right now obviously because it'll flip this but uh, yeah. I am still just wearing some lounging clothes but if I sit down on this you can hear that it beeps and I can give you the sound of the fan So there you go, kind of gives you a little bit of an idea as far as the fan, it's pretty quiet so you can hear the beeps, they're not super loud, so I don't think that's going to be something that would really disturb anyone who's sleeping, so that's pretty cool, uh, the water functionality, it does you know, spray fairly decent uh, as far as pressure, I don't think it's uncomfortable at this point, but I do want to of course use it for a longer period and kind of see other than just this initial you know, testing and everything that we've done. And it does have a very slow close for the seat and the lid, as you can see. And it does have the rubber bumpers on the bottom of both the seat and the lid, so that's actually nice. And I'm not going to do this right now, but it seems like cleaning and any kind of maintenance, if it were required, would be fairly easy. Because this kind of just slides back into place on the bracket that you saw that was under here that we mounted earlier. So you don't have to worry too much in, you know, in terms of cleaning and whatnot if you decide you want to. Because some people I know they have those quick release. You just kind of pop the little uh, where the bolts are and you can you know, pull that off. Well, this one actually pulls off you know, relatively easy as well. But uh, yeah, I said it's fairly solid. It's not super, super thick, but not bad. Uh, I do like it, that it's an elongated type style. And it does get quite warm actually and it does have a pretty sensitive sensor when you hit it in the right spot because just laying my hand on it without any weight you can see it actually but we've tried to make the water spray just by touching it and of course covering it so that it doesn't spray up on us and uh, that wasn't available so you do have to be sitting on it which I did sit on it put my hand down because I was still wearing clothing uh, during the testing phase uh, earlier and it did spray that way as well so I like that it's smart enough to know, so hopefully that wouldn't be a problem. And you can't really see it too well, but on the right hand side right here, you have a little flap that pops up and that's where the vent, where the air comes out. And then this little silver piece right here is actually the wash unit and it actually comes and protrudes out depending upon whether you're using the normal wash or the feminine wash, of course, how far it extends. So that's pretty much what you're looking at in terms of those two components. And as far as the you know, internals there, the light comes from that direction over there. So you can kind of see like that. So anyway, I just wanted to give you a real quick overview, um, kind of a, a little bit of a how it's installed, but kind of hard to do because like I said, we were limited with this space, only one person could fit. You do have little wings on this, so you can mount this to the wall if you choose. So we'll probably end up putting in a new outlet, you know, over here somewhere and doing that later. But I'll leave a link below. You can find out more about this. Hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea of what to expect, you know, with this. And I'll show you the bottom of this. Like I said, it does have the rubber pieces there. So, and again, it is sort of a slow close for both. So you don't have to worry about you know any kind of slams um, that's also going to be good at night because it's not going to be loud and yeah hopefully that gives you a little bit of an idea what to expect as I said the controls they're outlined on the actual uh, link below with the Amazon page but it's also labeled um, I just don't have any light over here really to show you so you can kind of get an idea you can dial in you know your seat uh, and water temperature preferences you've got a power button You've got an auto, uh, dry, this is the different uh, nozzle, you know, methodology here, stop button. And there's a few other buttons I just can't quite make out myself right now. It's just not bright enough over here, but again, this is all labeled. So I apologize that that's not a little more thorough, a little more detailed in that regard. But we'll see how it works over course of time see if there's any leaks so far it seems to be working fine seems to be no problem all right 
I'll leave a link below. You can actually find out a lot more. It'll probably give you a lot more information than I can uh, right now as far as the controls go because it's a little difficult for me to see with my eyesight and how dark it is in that area, even with the lights. All right. Thanks for watching.